Hey there, After Buzz TV fans. I am here with some of the wonderful cast members of this season of Day 5, Electra Avellan, Katie Folger, and Adrian Mischler. Yes, fantastic. Ladies, this show is so fantastic, and it's just such a dark and wonderful, different thing for Rooster Teeth. How does it feel to be a part of it this season? We already know you were a part of it last season, but how does it feel to come back and how does it feel to join this cast? Amazing to join it. I became a pretty big fan the first time I saw it, so I couldn't believe when I, when I, when I got it. I was really excited. Yeah, a second season is such a gift as a performer because you really get to get into the nitty gritty of the story and your character and so it just went next level fun, exciting, badass for me. My experience season two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I share the sentiments of these ladies. Season two is awesome. It definitely is uh, an expansion of season one so you take that streamline and it kind of blows up and I'm really excited to see how it's all come together. Now, is this your guys' first year at RTX? Yes. Are you guys excited? And for you as well? Um, it's no. my first with the show, but um, I like a couple years ago came and peeked around, but <laughs> not as a you know a cast member of anything. And you have done it? Yeah, I think I think it's been four years now of me doing a, a voiceover acting panel. Um, I do a lot of voiceover for DC Universe Online. So I always slide in with my badge and I'm always just like, what is going on here? So this year I'll definitely get a better taste. So ladies, for those of you guys joining this year, can you tell us a little bit about your character? And for Meredith, maybe a little bit of what's going on in her mind because she left us with a lot of questions last year. Well, I played the role of Paula, and she is a Honduran woman who comes to America with her eight-year-old son, and she's very humble, trying to make a living when, when it happens, when the horrible, horrible news strike, and we get to, you know, survive somehow <laughs> through, the, through the madness of it all. Oh boy, well, um, I think Josh, Aaron, and Chris would just not be very happy with me if I answered any of the questions that uh, my character left you all with yeah. last season, so stand by, tune in, and watch the show. You will find out. <laughs> That's a pro answer right there. Uh, I'm a new character. I am a woman named Gabby. She is a war reporter. She is a... Uh, a bit of a mystery. She's strong, she's feisty, but of course she has a tender side and uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's a really great character. I was really excited when I read this character for us gals. In fact, all the women standing here are these characters. Great characters. So yeah. Strong, so awesome. So it goes without saying, you know, that's really exciting and really fun to play. Um, but I really enjoy playing this character because she has a really nice uh, way. You don't just see one side of this woman. And us women are multifaceted, so it's indeed, good to see that. indeed. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Josh Flanagan, I was really grateful for the way he writes women. He really has a, a great sense of understanding to of equality, and that's that's unheard of in Hollywood. Yeah, it's extremely exciting to hear about that, um, especially for a show that's so well written and has been so well received by the Rooster Teeth community. So, getting to play characters with kind of a mysterious edge, is there anything that you guys drew from in your own personal lives in terms of portraying these characters because you're finding out things as the story's sort of unfolding? Oh boy. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> You can you can go ahead. Well, um, I think I think it's really uh, well. I just didn't want to lean in front of your body. <laughs> Do it, girl. So um, basically, <laughs> um, I, w I could say that uh, for me, I, w I wouldn't necessarily that I pull for my own self, but as a woman, um, I think it's really fun to kind of explore like when you end up really trusting someone, and because of the circumstances here, which we know are extreme and interesting. Uh, I've really enjoyed kind of finding the moments in which this woman like decides to kind of let down her guard and trust people. I find that really fun to watch and really interesting and sometimes you take like two steps forward and two steps back, you know, so that, that's been a fun thing for me to play with. <laughs> yeah. Um, Meredith is full of mystery um, and that's been really fun because you don't necessarily 
it's all of the blanks are not even filled in by the script so it took a lot of process and work um, behind the scenes uh, both uh, by myself and in conjunction with our fabulous directors to uh, make sure I had a well-rounded awesome great character because for me even reading the script question mark question mark question mark <laughs> I was just like fielding Josh Flanagan with text messages like what's happening with Meredith who is this woman I have no idea so I had to, the amazing thing was though I got very creative with her um, I like to develop um, a backstory for a character and I found that my choices were in alignment with Josh's original vision for the character so that was pretty hive mind groovy serendipity stuff happening so yes yeah, same wavelength thank you more succinct <laughs> I, I can say that I felt very um, close to the character. There were some truths about her that were linked to my past as well. I came from Venezuela and I was very young when I did that and I, I definitely drew from that and I, I don't want to say much because this is a new character <laughs> so it's a, it has to be a surprise but I did definitely have moments where it hit pretty deep and, and I, I definitely took it home and and been able to to grow from it, so I was really grateful. Well, ladies, I cannot wait to see it. Thank you all so, so much for taking the time to chat with us here on the red carpet tonight. Have a wonderful time at the premiere.